Now let's create grid lines and columns. By the way, nakalutang yung door natin. Let's move it down. Go to the click the door, go to the properties and then in the seal height, let's change it to zero value. Yan. And then now let's go to first floor level. Here let's create grid li grid line and column. For the column, let's use architectural column. Dito sa Revit, may merong two types of columns. Structural column, which is load-bearing columns, and then architectural columns, non-load-bearing columns. Let's use it for the architectural modeling. Since, it, since the architectural column adapts to the material of the wall, so meaning if you create columns, the finish of the wall will be adapted by the column finishes, and then right here also so that our finish will be seamless but uh, the structural column will not do that will it, we will be doing it manually but for this tutorial let's use the architectural column so let's first create a grid line Punta lang tayo dito sa architecture tab and then here in the dito panel let's create grid line. You can also create it by in the structure tab dito panel also. So let's just go to the architecture then create grid line. Then here click let's change the value to alphanumeric skip twice click and then let's change it to a then let's create grid line again dito sa gitna lagay natin dito click skip twice hanggang sa dito na lang then dito also click right click then create similar those are the two approach. approach. Skip twice. And then, gawa tayo dito ng horizontal grids. Click. Then, after you click to place the bubble, click the letter and then input 1. Then, gawa tayo dito in the center. Click. Hindi sila align. I-align natin na yan. Then, dito. Click. Click. And then, lastly, dito. Click. Skip twice. Then, let's align itong number 2 na lumagpas. Make sure they are locked together because if you move the grid line, all of the other grids will follow. But if you just move one, just click the grid line and then this lock will show. Click and then move your grids para hindi, siya, hindi sasama yung ibang grid lines. But for this, let's align them para sabay-sabay sila. Yan. Then let's move it closer. Now, these grids will be reflected to other floor levels in the second floor and the roof level. Okay. So, now, ready na tayo gumawa ng or maglagay ng columns. Let's go back to the first floor level. Then, let's load architectural columns. Go to the insert tab. And then, here in the load from library, click the load family. By default, uh, no, this not by default. Bale, dati nakagawa na tayo, nag-load na tayo ng families. And last na ni-load natin ng families is the windows. Let's click the up one level. Then here in the metric folder, let's go to the columns. Ito yung architectural columns. Yung structural columns, andito sa baba. Yan yung load-bearing columns. So, click the columns. And then here in the 
choices let's choose the rectangular column merong preview and then let's choose other column this one let's use this metal clad column click and then press control then click rectangular column also so let's use these two columns then click open it will now load into our project This is just already exist. Just if this warning shows up, just click overwrite existing version. Para alam natin na yung bago natin click yun yung updated. And this is the project not saved recently. Ito lang yung reminder for the saving our project. If lumabas din ito sa inyo, just click save project. Click OK. Uh, save the project. Now the columns are loaded. To create the columns, Go to the architecture tab and then here in the build panel, ito yung column drop down menu. Click. And then the first option will be structural column. The command is CL. And the architectural column has no command so we need to click it right here or we can specify a command for this. But for now, let's just use this method. So click architectural column. And then, yeah, let's use this metal clad column here in the entrance then this is 600 mm diameter let's change it then let's resize this diameter click type click duplicate and then let's name this let's change it to 400 mm diameter click ok and then now that it is renamed we have now two types of this metal clad column diameter then make sure na nasa 400 m diameter na tayo then here in the dimensions let's change the diameter into 0.4 yan 400 mm so click ok and now we have a smaller diameter of metal clad column so click it right here muna then skip twice to exit the command Let's show the second floor para alam natin kung saan natin i-reflect yung or ilagay yung column natin. Go to the properties and then here in the underlay panel, let's in the range base level, let's, let's choose the second floor as our underlay. So yeah, nakita na natin yung second floor but naka-reflect yung roof. So that means na it is a host reference kung ano yung naka-view sa ating host view yun yung i-reflect nya sa second floor so let's hide the roof since hindi natin kailangan ipakita yung roof sa first floor let's hide the roof in the visibility graphics override press vv twice and then here in the visibility graphics override in the model categories let's find roof yeah and then click check and then click ok so now na hide na yung roof natin and the second floor plan shows so yan lang yung process na gagawin natin if ever nakaharang yung roof and we want to show the floor plan then let's move our column right here in the at least inside the railings 
we can use the move tool or mv in the command uh, let's use the command so mv then click then click at least right here yeah this is in the upper side of the roof so the body of the column is this mv click yeah, and or we can use this to that we can specify the distance but let's just use this for now skip and then let's mirror this to here since meron na tayong itong door naka center siya from these walls so click and then click under the modify tab click the mirror pick access the command is mm and then click the center of the door yan so naka reflect na din yung column natin sa kabila so now let's check it into our 3d view press skip then go to 3d view then ito na yung column metal clad column then we can see na hindi siya pantay and then yung top side is nasa finish na ng floor let's check the thickness of the floor 150 mm so let's click the column from the second floor level let's move it down to negative point 150 yan and then in the base level let's align it to finish grade level yan let's apply it also dito Finish grade level and then negative point one hundred fifty. Yeah, and then let's copy these two columns up. So click, then press control, then click, and then here in the modify tab and un under the clipboard panel, let's click the copy to clipboard. Yeah, and then let's go back to modify, then press paste align to selected levels and then select second floor level click ok now it is copied into the second floor may kulang yung uh, gawa tayo ng wall na yung gable form na wall dito sa taas so to do that, let's go to the second floor. Gawa tayo ng wall. Go to the architecture, wall, wall architectural. Then let's just use this thickness. Or let's use 100 mm. Press skip twice. Let's create a new type. Then duplicate. We have discussed about how to create the column and the part 3 which is the creating the first floor so now let's create ju let's just create a new type generate 100 mm then go to structure let's change the thickness to 100 mm then click ok then click ok so now let's create the wall then click right here in the edge and then click then click then click skip twice let's align this roof to our railings to use the align command go to modify and then here in the under modify panel ito yung align ang command is al so let's use command press al in the keyboard then click the destination and then click the object that you want to go there so click yeah then click click then dito click click now let's press skip twice to exit the align command then let's check it into the 3d view yeah from the second floor to 
the roof level but let's change its base to go to, to here at least 2.4 let's click this wall then press control click this wall then let's hover press shift then mouse uh, center mouse wheel in the in your mouse then you can rotate so now let's press again the control and then click yan selected na yung mga walls and then here in the base constraint nasa level 2 siya and the top constraints is in the roof level so okay lang yung top constraints but in the base constraint let's move it up from the second floor level to 2.4 meters above yan so press skip and now let's make our will follow the shape of our roof slope to do that select natin again yung mga walls natin click click and then right here click and then after that three walls is selected go to the modify tab in the walls contextual tab and then here in the attach tab base click that and then click the roof so now it will follow the slope of the roof even na mag change yung slope ng roof mo fa follow yung shape ng wall because nakatouch na yung wall sa roof skip and then let's move the top of the column down here in the bottom of the wall so click these two columns click control click and then the top let's change it to The top level, let's change it to second floor level. But these two should not be the same value because it will give you an error. Now that it is the same, same lang yung top and then yung base, lagyan natin ng offset. So 2.4. Click OK. And now, magka-level na yung bottom ng wall and then top of the column. Yan. So next, let's discuss about applying materials to our house project.